In the criminal justice system this day and age, cameras are everywhere. Body-worn cameras give us a view into the criminalistic world that we live in. The dedicated men and women who investigate these moments are members of an elite squad called the YouTube Content Creators. These are their stories. The Franklin County Coroner's Office has identified a victim of a fatal shooting on the east side of Columbus on Saturday, May 11th. The shooting victim was 45-year-old Nicole Pleasant. Police said Pleasant was killed on Lockwood Avenue shortly before officers arrived on the scene. On that fateful day in May, officers received a call into dispatch about a domestic violence incident. We are going to take a look at the footage from that day. I'm giving my fair use warning and I'm giving my trigger warning. This content may be triggering to some. If you are easily triggered, please click off now. We're also learning more about the woman killed in the domestic incident on the east side of Columbus on Saturday. Police say she was shot and killed by a man who then ended up in that shootout with officers. TTV's Carla Rog Rogner is live with details on why domestic violence experts say it's important for victims to seek help as soon as they can. Carla. Yeah, police just identified that woman killed on Saturday as 45-year-old Nicole Pleasant. Now the relationship between her and the suspect killed by police is still unclear, but police called it a domestic situation. Violence like this is why domestic violence experts say it's important that victims know the early signs of abuse and know that they can seek help before something tragic happens. He's right around the corner. Security video from a neighbor's home shows the moments officers confront the gunman in this East Columbus neighborhood on Saturday. Get your hands up! Off camera, officers fire back, striking and killing the suspect. Moments before this interaction, CPD says the man had shot and killed a woman outside this home, also firing at two bystanders who tried to calm him down. The circumstances that led up to this shooting remain under investigation, but this kind of violence is why it's important that victims of domestic violence have access to support. Yeah, we're still waiting to get the name of the gunman from Saturday's shooting from police. Lutheran Social Services says they want people to know that they have people available at all times of the day to take calls from survivors. Columbus police responded at 7.08 p.m. to a report of shots fired on the 4700 block of McAllister Avenue. Officers responded to a report of a person threatening neighbors with a gun. Body camera shows a neighbor pointing arriving officers in the direction of the suspect, then immediately coming under fire. No! He's shooting at us! He's got a right! When the assailant began rapid firing with his rifle, the police took cover across the street and the other officers arriving around on the other side caught the assailant by surprise. Get out of there! I'm here. Hey, get out of here! Get out of here! Take your car and leave. Hey, everyone hands. He's down? Where? To the house, yeah. To the house. We both shot multiple times, so he shot at us with We're good? Man, y'all need to check on that person in the house right there. What, okay. what house? We will. White house. Okay. okay. We'll do that right now. Thanks. We're going to shoot me first. Hey, guys, we need you to check this house. This Paris, right over here. The officers follow the advice of the neighbor. They go to um, Corey's house where the initial call took place, the domestic violence call, and that's where they found her. Clear the 
guys are multiple witnesses in this one. We got another person down in the residence right here. Multiple shell casings everywhere. Man. Derek, can you breathe me? Is this a victim of yeah. Uh, yeah. Officer Ball's Ball over there. This is a, this is an unrelated this, victim who is shooting at Alright. We need another We figured it out. We, got, we need two Nicole Pleasant was found on the front porch of the residence. She suffered a fatal gunshot wound. The relationship between the two has not been made clear as of yet, and the investigation is ongoing. And please remember, if you see something, say something. Whether you're the person observing or the person going through the violence. Please don't be afraid. Speak up before it's too late. Everyone deserves a life without abuse. When they show you who they are, believe them. Unapologetically Mika, out.